How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the PlayStation Vita and this thing is amazing. Why is it not selling well? I'm going to go over the reasons why it's not selling when, uh, well and also about the future of the Vita. Um, but it's really unlikely that it's going to change. And as you guys know, Sony has dropped the PlayStation TV and also maybe if this keeps going on, they're going to just stop with the uh, PlayStation Vita. They don't really care about it much and um, the playstation 4 alone is just holding up the company and they have, doesn't have any problems so let's go ahead and talk about the vita in this video and I'm gonna roll the intro time i don't know what they have to say <laughs> Okay, the Vita has been out for a very long time now, around four years or something as far as I have a lot of things. Yeah, four years now. Um, and as you can see, I love my Vita. I um, got all sorts of um, covers for it and I've got a grape and I've got some games for it, got the memory card and stuff. And uh, I'm actually going to go with the reason why it's not selling well first and then we're going to talk about the future of the Vita. So basically, um, the reason, the main reason the Vita is not going to sell well in the future as well as it's not selling right right now is because of the fact that it is so expensive to make games for it and when it's so expensive developers don't even want to even consider it because if it's so expensive and this platform is not really all that popular it's probably one of the most um unpopular popular um, platforms to play games on there is no point wasting all that money to make a game for the vita so it just um, it's not even gonna sell well so because the games actually cost more than making a standard game than a PS4 or something. So for a handheld, I mean, I don't know what to say. Actually, I never thought games would have been so hard to make on a handheld. The, the 3DS is doing really good. And I don't know how and stuff. They got first party and stuff, but we're not going to talk about that. I don't know why Sony did this. Why is it so expensive to make games? I have no idea. But this thing seems to be running um, pretty much the most of the games on the PS3 exactly the way they are. Um, just lower the graphics a little bit so you can actually run on a decent frame rate on this thing but all the games on the PS4, I mean the PS3, I think they should be able to run fine as long as you just um, lower the graphics and the resolution of the textures and everything because I think it runs on the same hardware or something really really similar um, but I still don't have an idea of, uh, or a clue why it's so expensive to make games for this thing. Um, now the pro of this thing a positive thing is that you don't have to um, there's a reason the cartridges still exist um, because they can actually carry up games and you don't have to worry about installing them over and over again and stuff and they actually work just like they would on the ps3 instead on the ps4 you have to install the game even if you get a, uh, the cd so there's no point getting a cd anymore uh, a retail copy I'm, I'm not sure but honestly um, first reason is the games are so expensive to make developers don't even want to consider it plus it's not really popular the games are not going to sell uh, well at all so that's probably the one of the that's probably the worst reason this thing has got no future second thing is the PlayStation Vita's memory cards now I actually did a bit of testing on this and you could get an 8 gigabyte memory card which is what I've got over here a normal micro SD card for just 10 or 6 pound or something this however goes all the way up to a 40 pound plus it's not as fast as the 8 pound card that I was looking at um, this is more like a class 4 or uh, SDHC class 4 It's really slow I've actually tested it on saving some worlds in Minecraft uh, with the internal memory as well as the SD card and there's a huge difference it's not good. Um, I mean, of course, you know, got more space, so that's the only reason to buy it. But why, why would you wanna make slow memory cards for that much price? Plus, they priority memory cards. You're not gonna be able to use them on anything else, and that is a really big mistake Sony make uh, makes and made every single time um, when it comes to portables. And I'm guessing they're giving up the portables market, as, as I've heard, um, but this memory card joke it has to end i mean obviously they're not going to make another portable anymore but honestly if they were going to i know they're not gonna but if they were going to they really need to get into get it into their heads micro sd cards even the 3ds and the ds port micro sd cards and everything 
they're really perfectly fine they they were faster than this thing if you ask me because the sd cards are really fast it's a lot faster than the memory cards in here um so yeah that's one of the second reason that's the second reason um the memory cards now the third reason is pretty much obvious um is when this thing was released now not the 3ds was released just almost about the freaking same time but that's a sort of like a different system it's got two screens it's a little different this thing is trying to be a mobile device um when this came out which is back in 2012 android and ios were there and um, this was trying to step into its territory now the only reason to get this over an android device for gaming or a apple device is because it has these awesome controls and these are known beatable and also because the games on here are better than the android device even though this is not as powerful as the android devices or anything on the flagship phones that you're getting right now um now that actually you know gets me a little confused why do developers not have games that are better than this this has some ps3 games why do they not have games um this quality or better on mobile devices nowadays because mobile devices can play ps3 games who wouldn't want to play ps3 game on the go um obviously streaming is one thing but that's one thing we want no lag nothing no um jittery buffering st- stuff like that and we want complete real simulation so honestly i don't understand why people are not getting this into their heads even if they're not going to make games for this why not make it for the mobile device so you know at least you have that to play on plus mobile devices are a lot cheaper than this um this comes in around 100 pound or something now and you can get a crappy android phone for 50 but obviously that's not going to be as compatible to this thing um so it came out at the wrong time there was nobody going to buy it because there's no reason to go for this other than i don't know is the next playstation portable that's pretty much the only reason now let now let's talk about the playstation uh, vita's future because i think i've got some things out of the way and i don't want to talk about those um basically this thing um everybody who's got it they love it to death uh most people uh, love it and they just play on it every day i just love this thing to death as well but there are some maybe just uh, 0.2% of the population who's got this um that don't really need it or just don't like it or something so it's clear that everybody who's got the vita or most of them the majority of them love the vita and they just they, w- they would use it every day and you know it's got playstation for streaming remote play they've got all these amazing games um, mostly rpgs from the japanese region and they and this is region free you know so you can get any game no matter where you are no what matter what language it is you can get it on this and you can play on the go um in terms of it being the future i think it is going to be dying still and it's already pretty much dead and there is nothing that we can do to sort of bring it back because sony don't really care and the reason they don't is because this is no use to them they is not selling well at all anything why would they even take a second chance on this thing maybe they need to just fix all this stuff with the memory card and the freaking cartridge and all this kind of stuff that they've messed up so people don't buy it that's pretty much the only thing you know uh, they just messed it up themselves they didn't advertise it properly they did uh, uh, they still uh, don't give a crap about the memory cards and you know they're expensive and sort of and on the first vita they had a priority port as well like wow time sony you need to get into your head now uh, they did fix it on the second one which is a micro usb port but it still makes a difference i mean it's not like everybody else is going to buy a 2000 or just because they got a 1000 model time sony you just made a big mistake right there now also a lot of people hate the back touch pad pretty much everybody hates that i'm i'm i can kind of tell you that everybody is the back touch pad this is another thing sony made uh, this is another mistake that they made where the, the two triggers they've got the bumpers and you know we got we got the trigger where the bumpers we need the bumpers we don't need a stupid touch pad that we can accidentally touch all over the place and get messed up in the game i mean on top of that most of the games don't even use the touch pad there is no re- there's no reason for it to be there other than some of the first party titles or some of the um, loyal playstation vita titles like the uh, tearaway that's a really great game it uses all the features on this so you know there's a reason for that to be there but we'd rather have the bumpers and the triggers rather than a touch pad which you can and plus it's not all that comfortable to hold just because of the touch pad we are, are, are really keep avoiding the t- t- touching the touch pad and 
if you were to hold it like this you would be touching the touchpad by the way but it's really really comfortable i have no problem with it but then there's actually a touchpad it's not like there's no touchpad there's actually a touchpad so it's so annoying um now the place uh, sony has stopped the playstation tv from production and stuff because it's worse than the vita now the thing is what nintendo did with the 3ds is made a 2ds which was a cheaper option this um sony decided that if they want to make a cheaper option they'd want to make it so they console around a whole of features but you can play on your tv what what is wrong with you nobody wants something that's different than the first model okay if you're going to make something that's um a cheaper but exactly the same thing then make it exactly the same thing because everybody is looking for the same things some people just can't afford it so they don't go for it there that's where sony or nintendo comes in now nintendo did the right thing making 2ds you know they didn't cut down all the features they only cut down the unnecessary ones which is the 3d effect which is most of people think is a gimmick i don't think it's a gimmick but either way they cut that down because it's not all that important to use in uh, games and in return they actually made a whole lot cheaper of a device that everybody else can buy now it's under 100 pound it's really close to a 75 so it's actually cheaper than this thing but then playstation tv comes in now i'm guessing sony tried to do the same thing by making a cheaper model but they actually failed if you ask me because they just cut down on pretty much everything uh, it's not a portable that's and this is a portable that pretty much says it so you know It's like a completely different thing that they made with the same operating system. It's not it's, it's not ideal. Nobody is going to want to play PlayStation Vita games on the TV because they got so low graphics and it's not sort of suitable for the TV but I guess you can do it but still it's you don't want a graphics of this thing on there. Plus it's low resolution and stuff, you know. I'm not saying the graphics are bad, the graphics on this thing are, are in, astonishing. But I don't know. Sony made actually uh, Sony actually made another big mistake and they also sort of stopped the PlayStation TV production. Um now lots of people do get the PlayStation TV for recording gameplay purposes. Um I had one now actually sold mine I think yeah. Um but yeah, I think this thing is not going to go anywhere. Um I know in the Japan uh, in Japan or something this thing is really popular and is selling well and everything but that's only Japan. That's like a tiny bit of the world. the US and the China and the UK and everything well not UK but most of the other countries are really big um and that's where the PlayStation 4 is selling so i don't know i think Sony actually messed this thing up they should have actually um thought about what they did with the PSP and took the reviews from the PSP into consideration to making this thing um they just still decided to get the priority memory card the priority charging port on the first Vita they got the priority cartridges and everything is just not good i think sony messed this up because of the advertising and everything but other than that this thing is amazing i love this thing and uh, most of the people love this thing so in total or in general the verdict is is sony's mistake they actually messed it up and the hardware and everything that they went with is their fault nobody is going to make games for it because it's so expensive to make games for it meaning it's not going to last long now sony is trying to do something by making the psp and the ps1 games um, through the um, the playstation store so you can play these games on here but why would you want to play those we we, all, we already got a psp or something to play on there i mean it's a good, it's a good thing you know you can throw them away and then just keep this but why i mean it's a, it's a good, in in reality it's actually a good thing to do but there's just no use This thing is going to die now. So I mean it's really sad news because this thing is amazing. Everybody loves everybody wanted these tiny thumb uh, thumb um, sticks on a PlayStation Portable and they've actually given it. They've even got amazing controls. They've even got cameras. They've got accelerometer, they got gyrometers. I mean they got a gyro, they got everything in here but it's just so expensive to make games. Nobody's going to make them. I mean right now it does have amazing games. and companies are still making a lot of games especially the japanese they're making tons and tons of rpgs but they look they, they're not good um i mean they're good but in terms of graphics and everything the way they look i don't really like them they're sort of cartoon so more like proper 3d games then it'd be cool um 
So I'd say the 3DS is winning because it's actually got first party titles and Nintendo is actually doing some next level stuff. It's so cheap to make games for that thing. So obviously everybody's going to make games for it and that's the reason it's selling well because also because it's sort of made, uh, suited for little kids and stuff and parents do like uh, to buy gaming system for the kids. So I'm actually going to end the video here. I think I've got my message through. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, tell me what you think about the PlayStation Vita in the comment section below and make sure you give this thumbs up or anything I missed out that you want to know make sure you let me know in the comment section below as well and I'll see you again in a different video.